In this video, we're going to talk about the congenital aortic stenosis. In the video series on congenital heart defects, we have so far discussed about the atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect, atrioventricular canal defect, patent ductus arteriosus, and coarctation of aorta. You can watch those videos on our channel or check the links in description. Let's now begin today's video. The aortic valve is one of the four valves that control the blood flow in the heart. It separates the left ventricle and the aorta. When the heart contracts, the aortic valve opens and lets the blood flow from left ventricle into the aorta. When the heart relaxes, the aortic valve closes to prevent the blood flow from moving backward. Aortic stenosis occurs when there is narrowing or stricture of the aortic valve, causing resistance to the blood flow in the left ventricle. Aortic stenosis occurs due to improper development of aortic valve in the first 8 weeks of prenatal growth. There are mainly three types of congenital aortic stenosis. The first is the valvular type which is usually caused by malformed cusps or leaflets that result in a bicuspid rather than the tricuspid valve or fusion of the cusps. Subvalvular stenosis is the narrowing caused by a fibrous ring below a normal valve. Supravalvular aortic stenosis is obstructive narrowing of the aorta just above the aortic valve and is least common type of the aortic stenosis. Now we will discuss about the pathophysiology of aortic stenosis. Due to the narrowing of the aortic outflow tract, there is resistance to the blood flow from left ventricle. Now the left ventricle needs to work more harder to push the blood against increased resistance which ultimately causes left ventricular hypertrophy. If the left ventricular failure develops, the left atrial pressure will increase. The result will be increased pressure in pulmonary veins which results in pulmonary vascular congestion and pulmonary edema. Now the signs and symptoms of aortic stenosis. The newborns with critical aortic stenosis demonstrate signs of decreased cardiac output like faint pulses, hypotension, tachycardia, and poor feeding. Children show signs of exercise intolerance including chest pain and dizziness when standing for long periods of time. A systolic ejection murmur may or may not be present. Talking about the diagnosis, it includes auscultation of the heart sounds to listen to the systolic ejection murmur. It may or may not be present in aortic stenosis. Echocardiography will show the abnormal aortic valve and can measure the tightness of the valve. Cardiac CT scan helps measure the size of the aorta and provide details about aortic valve. Cardiac MRI shows the size of aorta and determines severity of the aortic stenosis. Cardiac catheterization is not often used to diagnose the aortic valve disease, but it may be used if other testers are not able to diagnose the condition or to determine the severity. Chest X-ray can determine if heart is enlarged, which can occur in aortic stenosis. There are both surgical and non-surgical treatment options available. In valvular aortic stenosis, the non-surgical treatment is by balloon angioplasty in the cardiac catheterization lab. With the help of cardiac catheterization, a balloon is inflated at the site of stricture or narrowing, which opens up the aorta and improves blood flow through it. The surgical management involves aortic valvotomy. This procedure involves making an incision in the aortic valve to increase its opening, which allows blood to flow more freely and reduces symptoms of aortic stenosis. Alternatively, ROS procedure can be carried out. In a ROS procedure, the surgeon removes abnormal aortic valve and then replaces it with the child's own pulmonary valve. The surgeon uses a valve from a cadaver or donor to replace the pulmonary valve of the child. In subvalvular aortic stenosis, surgery is done to remove the obstructing membrane or fibrous ring below the aortic valve. It is accomplished by the Kono procedure, which involves removing obstructing muscles widening the outflow area of left ventricle and replacing the aortic valve with the artificial valve. The artificial valve used may be tissue heterograft valve like porcine valves, bovine pericardium valves or it may be prosthetic valves or homograft valves like human donor valves. The supra aortic stenosis is repaired by incising the narrowed segment of aorta and widening the area with a patch graft the aorta is transected at its narrowest point 
and three incisions are given as shown. Then three pericardial pads are used to enlarge the constructed area. Now we will discuss about the nursing management of aortic stenosis. The first nursing diagnosis will be decreased cardiac output related to structural factors of congenital heart defect, evidenced by ECG change, a cardiac murmur. The interventions will be providing adequate rest periods which decreases myocardial workload and oxygen demand, positioning the child in Fowler's position and administering oxygen therapy if needed. The second nursing diagnosis will be activity intolerance related to an imbalance between oxygen supply and demand evidenced by abnormal heart rate or blood pressure response to activity, exertional dyspnea. The interventions will include allowing for rest periods between care, disturbing the patient only when necessary for care and procedures, avoiding allowing the infant to cry for a long period of time, use soft nipple for feeding or gavage feed the infant. Providing thermoneutral environment, neither too hot nor too cold. The next nursing diagnosis will be risk for infection related to chronic illness. The interventions will include assessment of the temperature, WBC count, pulse, and respirations. Since the temperature, WBC count, pulse, and respirations all increase in infection. Providing adequate nutrition as per the age of the infant. Washing hands before giving care and administering antibiotics as prescribed. Can you add some more nursing diagnosis? Let me know in the comments. So this completes today's lecture on aortic stenosis.